is the life of a mega nerd, baby. We doing things and we making it happen, right? From the trash 80 to a black Mercedes, no one can stop us now, cause we're keeping it nerdy nice. What's up YouTube, this is Chris with Sage Films, and today I will be starting a new group of tutorials for Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition, but today is really not going to be getting into the programming and coding of the products, I'll, uh, I'll show you some of that, but uh, I'm just going to show you how to export a file into an EXE file. Now, this is there's two ways to do this, so I'll go ahead and show you how, so go ahead and open up Visual Basic. And uh, if you're wanting to get into programming, da uh, go look at my video, Visual Basic 2008, for free. Uh, download this program, and you can just follow along as I make these tutorials. But I'll just open up one of these products that I've created. Okay, so basically this is an example of the coding that you can do. This right here is just for one form. There's different forms. Hold on, let me open up the main page. This is for a fake antivirus program I've created. Uh, it's pretty believable, actually. Yeah, I took a. This is actually the first uh, program I've coded by myself, so I, I was pretty excited about making this. But today, basically, all I'm really going to show you is how to export it. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can go here, go to File, Save All. There you go, and then you'll go to your Documents. You'll go to Visual Studio 2008, Projects, Shield Guard Antivirus, click it again, go to Bin, Debug, and there's all your files. Or, you can go here to Build, and go to Publish. Let that load, and put where you want the application to go to, I'll just put Desktop, click Next. Make sure it's from a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM. Next, the application will not check for updates. Next, and it'll say when this application is installed to a client or machine, a shortcut will be added to the start menu and the application will be uninstalled via add or remove programs. And click finish. And wait for that to finish. Okay, just minimize this. And here it is, set up exe file and normally this will come up if you have Firefox saying it can't find it or whatever just exit out of that Quit. and just double click setup this will come up and it will ask you to install and here we go now I'm going to show you guys how this program actually works I'll probably post a tutorial on this it's a pretty simple program to make so you just click here, go to scan for spyware, click this checkbox which will enable this button here, click scan. It's status scanning, and I'll have this progress bar, which is basically not real, it's just pretending to scan your, scan your computer. Then it'll, as soon as that's done, it'll go here and it'll say 12 viruses detected, recommended action. Your computer is at risk and it is recommended for you to clean your computer, you just click clean. You know, this is basically just clean your computer. And a window will pop up saying all viruses have been cleaned. Your computer is now safe. Purchase the full version to keep your computer safe. Just click OK. And there you go. So, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll be posting more tutorials on programming and different features with Visual Basics. So, just make sure you subscribe to see some tutorials pretty soon. Uh, hope this really helped you guys, and I'll see you next time.